to Playbook for Performance, the official podcast of Shauna Corden, the Joan of Arc for corporate healing and performance. Join the quest to make work fun again by preparing leadership for engaging workplaces. And now, your host. Hey, everybody. We're back to our uh Fourth in our third in our fourth in our series on uh, the managing the different personality types. Uh, if this is brand new to you, know that you can catch up starting I think on podcast ninety nine. But um, let me recap for those of you who've been with us. Fast forward here. So um, personality types are gauged by a couple of different factors: whether people are more outgoing or more reserved whether they're more warm and accepting or questioning and skeptical. Based how, on how you answer those questions, we will plot you on a, a four quadrant system. And each of those quadrants has a style name, a sound bite or a mantra, and an avatar to help you remember. And when I work with teams, the more that they can remember who's who and what they prefer, the more that they naturally adapt their style to meet people in the middle so that um, we can compromise and get work done um, more efficiently, more pleasantly, uh, with better lasting results. So um, a quick recap. Up in the upper left-hand corner of our quadrant, if you, I like to think of it as a clock face, between 9 and 12 is the D or dominant style. Their mantra is get it done and their avatar is LeBron James or Donald Trump. Uh, in the upper right hand corner from 12 to 3 is the I or the influence style. Their mantra is let's get together and their avatar is Richard Branson. Today we're going to be talking in detail about the S style that's from 3 to 6 on the clock. They are let's all get along and their uh, avatar is Oprah. And then last but not least between 6 and 9 is the conscientious style and their mantra is get it right and their avatar is Steve Jobs. So let's get into the detail of the steadiness style. The steadiness style is like peace and tranquility for everyone. They are the ultimate team player. They are humble, they are patient, they are tactful, they are wonderful teammates. Um, but they tend to be a little bit overly deferential. And so often what happens is they um, defer so often and then they get resentful because they're like, how come nobody asked me what I think? And they're like, we did, but you just said you wanted what we wanted. <laughs> so um, that's the one thing you need to be careful of. Those eruptions don't happen often, but they can happen. And we really want to protect these folks because they are the most sensitive of the team members. So let's, let's, capture their characteristics. These people are very even tempered. They're steady. That's why they really want to keep the peace. Um, they want everyone to be happy. Um, they're the, the kid at school that shares their lunch. I mean, they, they're just wonderful. And if you have one of these children, they may feel a bit more anxiety because they tend to worry about everyone else being happy, everyone being included. Um, they don't want to see anyone happy. It's, it's a very tender personality type. Um, they are very accommodating. So even though it is um, difficult for them to work on something Friday at four o'clock, they'll say, yeah, I'll do it. I mean, as long as it's not interrupting something else. Um, they are happy to go the extra mile. They're really patient with other people, so they try to uh, assume positive intent. Um, they're very humble. In fact, sometimes they don't like recognition, definitely not public recognition. You might have an exception employee, so be sure to ask about that. But generally, if someone throws them like a ticker tape parade because they did something, they're like, why are you punishing me? <laughs> They really don't like that kind of attention. They want to, they want to say, oh, it was a team effort, things like that. Um, and they are very tactful. So 
they always say please and thank you. They ask about your weekend, etc. Um, and so they're really lovely, lovely teammates. Now, doesn't mean they don't get stuff done. Doesn't mean they're not serious. Um, they are very hardworking folks. So I don't want to um, suggest by any means that these people are just so busy being pleasant that they're not getting stuff done because they are. Um, in fact, one of the great things about this personality type is they love giving support. So um, often they are the assistant to the executive who's a D type. So um, unfortunately that means they get the brunt, but they, they keep them organized. They keep them on top of stuff. They're exceptionally good at details. Um, they love to collaborate with other people and they don't feel like they need the recognition. They're really motivated by stable environments. So uh, calm and predictable is a wonderful thing for them. They love being sincerely appreciated. Um, this means good job is insufficient. They want to hear, I love how you redesigned this template. It's so beautiful and it looks so good with this, this, and this. And it was so good for you to be so creative with these colors and incorporate this. I mean, they want that kind of level of detail when it comes to the appreciation. Um, they love cooperation. So conflict um, avoidance is high on their <laughs> to-do list. Um, and they look for opportunities to help. When they see another teammate is struggling, they offer to help, pitch in, etc. cetera. Um, again, I can't say enough um, good things about this personality type. They fear loss of stability. Change is the hardest for them because again they like that predictable environment. They don't want to offend others. Um, harmony is very important. I will also say that in general for this personality type, drama, not fun. They will avoid drama as much as possible. If a workplace environment has too much drama, they will look elsewhere because it's too disruptive to their psyche. Um, again, patient, team player, calm, great listeners. I think a lot of this uh, personality type goes into um, helping professions like therapy, coaching, um, teaching. Oprah is our avatar. Think about how she became famous even though she'd been a reporter before this, was sitting on the couch having an intimate conversation with someone and really validating them, listening to them, and the humility that went around with that. I, you know, I often joke that Oprah would cry before the person she was interviewing. So, and so limitations. Every personality type has liabilities. You may be an exception to this because you may answer some of the questions contrary to the boilerplate type. But as I mentioned before, overly accommodating. They, they accommodate, they accommodate, so eventually like it builds up and then... <laughs> um, they tend to avoid change because they like the predictability and the stability of things. Um, so when it comes to a change effort, you really need to tap into what motivates them. Is it their head? Is it their heart? Is it their hands? How, and in this case, I think often their hands, they want tasks to do and they want to translate how the tasks I do today will look different from the tasks I do tomorrow when it comes to change. They can be indecisive in terms of they fear can be paralyzing to them. It's not so much the analysis piece as their C brethren, but um, you know, they, they just like the peace. They like the peace. So what kind of leader does the S style need? Well, in the perfect world, every leader of an S uh, employee or a S child would have a calm approach to them would ask them about their needs, their day, how things are going, this kind of slow warm up, and then ask their opinions about things, and then make it really clear about what needs to be done. And often you may need to intervene and have them stop doing things for other people so that they can get their own work done. So they might be so busy like sharing their lunch with everybody in the lunchroom 
that they don't have any lunch to eat themselves. So um, something to be um, really aware of. And also they're so giving, they can deplete themselves. Okay, so these folks probably need to practice a little bit more self-care. They need to know what fills the tank. You as a leader need to be sure that you provide opportunities for them to fill their tank so that they can keep on being the best um, team player to everybody else. Now, who's this going to be hardest for? It, the D's, right? Because the D's like, get it done, get it done, you know, like, let's not chit chat, you know, um, I just want the bullets. The, the S's are most likely to want this story. You know, why are we doing this? What's the background? What's the context? Who else is involved? Where else is this coming from? Um, and the D's don't necessarily have the patience to reveal all of that to them. So uh, D's, you will have to stretch the most to accommodate these folks. Um, I see it with um, parents who have this sensitive child. They're like, come on, we got to go. <laughs> and they're like, but no. <laughs> So um, they can have a little meltdown there if it's like too disruptive. So something to really pay attention to. Um, again, you know, you as a leader, you may have had lots of training to adapt your style so that you could be accommodating to either this child or this employee. Um, but your your peers or their their peers, your subordinates, may not have had that same kind of training. And they might walk all over this kind of person if not given the proper um, direction and awareness. And, and really, you know, the, the foundation of all coaching is creating awareness. So really what we do in these workshops is create the awareness of how each type really likes to work, how they do their best work, and what others can do to accommodate that so that they can be more successful both individually and as a team. And of course, we all like a harmonious environment. There's all kinds of great productive conflict that creates innovation, but it's not harsh. You know, it's excitement. And that's the kind of energy that we're really looking for. So if you're looking to book something like this for your team, by all means, reach out. Give us a, a shout. You can reach us at Shauna at shaunacordon.com, and we would love to help you and your team. We've got everything from lunch and learn webinars to full day workshops. Um, I'm sure we can design something to meet your team's needs. So, thanks. Join us next week for studying us, and take care. Thank you for listening to Playbook for Performance. To learn more about Shauna Corden, her consulting programs and tools, please visit her website at shaunacorden.com and follow us on social media at Shauna Corden.